please help. I, are you a doctor? Please help. Well, this is not the ER. You're on the wrong side of the building. Sir, sir. Uh-uh, no, get your hands off me. Go before I call the police. <laughs> <laughs> sir, are you okay? Sir, sir, are you okay? Sir. Please help. I, are you a doctor? Please help. Uh, yes, I'm a doctor. I have this chest pain in my, in my neck. My legs are numb and I have this sharp pain going down my arm. Just calm down. Calm down, sir. This is an emergency. Well, this is not the ER. You're on the wrong side of the building. Can't you help me? Do you have an appointment? No. Do you have insurance, some kind of identification? No. Uh, what a surprise. I suggest you just go back to where you came from. Sir, help. Uh, uh, no, get your hands off me. This is your final warning. As head of this department, I demand that you leave. Go to the ER, maybe someone there can help you. But go before I call the police. <laughs> sir, are you okay? Sir, sir, are you okay? Sir, I'm a doctor, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Okay? I'm gonna take you inside and get you some help, okay? Come on, let's go. I got you. Just hang in there, okay? Just hang in there. Let's go. I got you. Come on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come on, buddy. Where? What happened? Where am I? You're in good hands now. You're at Mango Park General. You suffered a slight heart attack, but your vitals are good now. <laughs> well, thank you, because I just knew I was going to die in that parking lot. Not on my watch. I couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? What? You don't remember me? Harris? Harris, is that you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Dr. Harris now. <laughs> well. You saved my life. Well, we're finally even. You saved mine once before when we're in combat together. Well, I remember it was twice, but I guess we can call it even now. Good. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel, I feel, I feel a little better, but thank you for taking care of me. Of course. It's good to see you up. I have to go take care of another patient, and I'll be back and we can catch up later, okay? Okay, I, I like that, Dr. Harris. You got it. If you need any assistance, just ring the bell, okay? Okay. Hey, I'm not gonna get in any trouble, am I? Trouble? 
What are you talking about? Look, man, when I was here earlier, there was this doctor and he kicked me out. What doctor? I, uh, I don't remember his name, but he said that he was the head of this department. <laughs> was it Dr. Nichols? Nichols, Nichols, yeah, yeah, that's him. Don't worry about him. Just get some rest, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Excuse me, who are you? You're not a patient here. Wait, wait, wait. You're that homeless guy from yesterday. I thought I told you to leave. Look, look, man. You don't understand. I understand perfectly. You tried to sneak back in. I run this wing of the hospital, nobody gets admitted without my permission. Look, I was brought in here by another doctor. I'll give you one more chance. Who brought you here? I did. Oh, Dr. Harris, hello. Um, you admitted this patient? Yes, I did. Well, you know better than that. We have rules here. If you can't obey them, then find another hospital to practice medicine. Look, Harris, man, the last thing I want to do is get you into any type of trouble. It's okay, Sanders. I'll take care of this. Wait, you guys know each other? We sure do. Sanders and I served together in the golf. You served with him? I sure did. You should be ashamed of yourself, turning down a vet in need of medical assistance. I had no idea he was a vet. That's besides the point. He's human, isn't he? He came to our hospital for help and you kicked him out like a piece of trash. Look, we can't treat every homeless bum that just walks in here. This bum has more courage and bravery and compassion in his little pinky than you will ever have. You took an oath, Dr. Nichols. I expect you to live up to that oath. All right, all right what's done is done, but I want him out of here by the end of the day. No. Excuse me? You heard me. <laughs> Dr. Harris, remember who you're speaking to? Oh, I'm very clear about who you are. All right, fine. But I want your friend out of here very soon. Mr. Sanders has not been cleared to leave as yet. I'm still awaiting a few test results and he needs some rest. So my patient will be staying here as long as needed. I'm warning you, Harris, don't do this. It's done. And if you have a problem, take it up with the board. I'm sure they'll love to hear about how you deny a vet medical care. Someone who is a highly decorated veteran you wouldn't dare. Come to think of it, Channel 9 would love to hear about this. You're gonna be all over the six o'clock news. All right, fine. I have other patients in this hospital that need my expertise. Goodbye, Dr. Nichols. <laughs> Dad, you definitely set him straight. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think he's learned his lesson. Well, anyway, Thank you for sticking up for me. It's been a while since I've had someone treat me so kindly. That's what friends are for. You get you some rest and I'll be back later to check on your recovery, okay? All right, well, thank you. Now I owe you one. You just get you some rest. That's an order. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll be back.